Okay, let's continue quiz five, question seven. Sam and Julian purchased an item valued $180,000. Okay, they paid $14,400 down and financed the rest at 4.51% compounded monthly. To reduce the amount owing to 38,170 at the end of five years, what size of equal payments must Sam and Julian make at the end of each three months? Okay, let's read the other instructions also. Enter the present value as a positive value in the PV box, which would be, we know the present value, which would be in this box here. Enter payment and the future value as positive or negative values based on PV being positive and report PMT accurate to the nearest cent. All right, so PY, payments. Payments are made equal payments at the end of every three months. So that means it would be four times per year. All right, the compounding, 4.51 compounded monthly, so CY would be 12. All right, okay. Now we skip over N. The interest is 4.51%. So that would be 4.51. A present value is what? Well, okay, this is the value of the item. But there is a down payment, so it has to be subtracted from 180,000. All right, anyway, let's start and then progress with the calculator. Now, first thing is this uh, this end here would require us to take this calculator out of the begin mode. So let's go second PMT, we are begin. And the second, enter. That will put us back into the end mode. You notice when we're in the end mode, there is no display in the top right corner. And then we click on second, CPT, and that takes us out of the begin mode. All right, we must do that first. All right, now we can go PY is four. So second IY, we can enter it. PY is four. CY is 12, so we have to enter the value for CY. And we can check, we go back, PY is equal to four, and CY is equal to 12. So let's quit now, we go second, CPT, we're out of that mode. So how many years? At the end of five years. So we click on five, second, N, N, and that number is 20. It's five times four because it's payments. So five times four is what gives us that 20. All right, the interest rate is 4.51. So we will enter that 4.51 interest rate. All right, now the present value. Now that is where we have to be careful. The value, the item valued at 180,000, they paid down 14,400. So what do we do? Well, we put in the 180,000, 000, zero, zero, and then we subtract the down payment, 14400. Zero, zero. And that would put us, this is the actual amount that will be financed, okay? Finance the rest. That means after the down payment has been taken out, okay? All right, so that we can put it negative and then we put that into the present value. Okay, now we want to compute the payment. So let's put this number in here. Oh, but it says that they, okay, enter the present value as positive. So we have to switch this and make it positive to enter it, all right? so. The number will go 165600. So present value is positive. And then we have to adjust future value. If if the future if the present value is positive, future value has to be negative. 
All right, now we are computing the payment. Okay. All right, those things will show up. This is not the decimal or integer value. That is correct. So the future value would be what? Well, to reduce the amount owing to 38,170 at the end of five years. So owing would be 38,170. Okay, 170. And because present value is positive, this here would have to be negative. All right, but let's see. It doesn't say we can, it, it seems as though we can put a negative value in there for the future value. All right, so <clears throat> 38170 negative future value. And then we compute the payment. And the payment turns out to be negative 7587.59. All right. So the size of each payment, now it says to enter a positive value. So it's this value right here, except that it is positive. Okay. So there we are. We submit the question and hopefully everything works out correct and we are correct, yes. Okay, so be careful. Remember there was the down payment, so we had to subtract 14,400 from the 180,000 to get the present value. And this here was the future value, but it had to be put in as negative because the present value we were told to put it in as positive. Okay, so that is question number seven. Next question. Quiz five, question number eight. Okay, Mariah has already saved 16,100 in her TFSA, that's tax-free savings account today. And she plans to continue to add on add on equal deposits at the end of every six months for the next nine years. What semi-annual payment is required to accumulate $67,000 in total at the end of nine years if the nominal rate of return on investment is 3.01 compounded annually? Okay, all right. Now enter the future value as a positive value in the future value box. So future value has to be positive. All right, which is this amount right here. Okay, enter PV and PMT as positive or negative values based on future value being positive. And report PMT accurate to the nearest cent. All right, so let's go. So she's add on equal deposits at the end of every six months. So that means it's twice per year. So PY is two. Now let's see, the 3.01 is compounded annually. So this would be one, okay? And we skip over as usual the rate of interest is 3.01. The present value is 16,100. Okay, so the present value is 16,100. Now remember, uh, future value is going in as positive. So present value will have to go in as negative, 16,100. Okay, payment is what we wish to compute, and the future value is what? Well, she'd like to accumulate $67,000, so let's put in the $67,000, 000, and do our computations. All right, so let's start. We did the right thing, positive value for FE, so there we are, positive value for FE. Okay, so here we go now. Second, <clears throat> IY, two, enter, 
and then CY is one, enter. Okay, so PY is two, CY is one, and then we quit. Okay, how many years is it? It will next nine years. Okay, so nine years, so we go nine, second N, N, and N turns out to be 18. All right, the interest is 3.01. That's the rate, 3.01 IY. The present value, it's negative 16,100, 16,100, negative present value. Future value right here, 67,67000. Future value, and then we compute the payment. The payment will now be negative 2245.05. Remember, we're rounding to two decimal places. So that's a seven, so that will become a five. All right, positive number in here for the size of each payment would be 2245.05. And we submit the question. Hopefully we are correct, and we are. And that brings us to the end of this.